Uh, did you guys, I forget what uh, Gyro said, did you guys do DPZ last week? Did you do that? Just looking at that now. Um, wow, that really went on Friday. Jeez Louise. I did it Thursday. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything with that today. Uh, let's watch Dal and then I'll go back to J&J &J and BA I'm leaving alone. Let's focus on, it's earnings season. Earnings season starts today. Banks are really just really not setting up right to go long, but they are up. I'm flipping over here to J&J &J because uh, Dow hasn't set up yet. And we got to get something here. 149.60. 149.60 is going to be the stop. Let's do 30 by 60. 30 by 60. Oh, crap. I didn't get it. Gosh, darn it. No, did anybody get it? I didn't press it. Holy crap. There it goes. I didn't get it. Wow, I'm a couple days off here. I my reflexes aren't. I got. I got. I need more coffee. I guess. Wow, I'm half asleep here. I guess, huh? Look at that. Well, screw it. I didn't get it. All right, over here to Dow. No, I'm not gonna get it. It's going. All right, stop on this is gonna be thirty two thirty. Let's do. 70 by 30, 70 by 30 Dow, 70 by 30. Got to get something here today. Actually, you know what? I didn't have any coffee today. Maybe that was my problem. I'll have to make it. 70 by 30 Dow. Now we can do 80 by 30. Yeah, I didn't have any coffee today. I didn't feel tired. <sighs> I was just gonna set up, but I wanted to set up fast. Eighty by thirty Dow. I'm leaving J and J alone. I missed it. I missed it. So. This is gonna go. Let's do. We can do eighty nine. Eighty nine by thirty. You can do it. Get in it and put the stop at 30. This is a good entry. It's a good entry. This is going to go. This is going to go. Now, I am really going to actually not discuss the market today for many, 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 many reasons. I wasn't here yesterday um, and got back, saw the market. How I would have played this, if I would have played this, hindsight's 2020. I don't know. So I have no idea what I would have done. So to say, well, I would have gone long or I wouldn't have gone long or I would have whatever, or I would have changed my opinion of the market. There's no point in discussing it. I wasn't here to see this live. I don't know if I would have done anything. I might have done nothing. I might have done something. I don't know. But because it's earnings season now, 
Um, I'm at the point where I'm going to focus on earnings. That is what we do. We're going to finally get into the busy period, so I don't have to be playing the market. We did play the market a lot because I was looking for things to do. So, um, but I will be really, really surprised if the market makes a new high in the next three weeks before the election. But I guess anything's possible. And the one thing um, that I will say is that I couldn't find any news to go off that reaction that I looked yesterday. So I think Trump's going to win. I said that for months. I said it all year. And I think the reaction of the market is corresponding with that because I don't think the market would, I think the market would be more skittish if they thought Biden was going to win. So if we make new highs before the election, Trump's definitely going to win. I, I, I'm, I really just am so shocked at the rally uh, from yesterday because I couldn't find anything. I really couldn't find one single thing. You would have thought there was a vaccine. I mean, we're so close to the highs. So I don't know. But I'm not in any market trades. So I'm not in anything in the market. Would I have gone long yesterday? I don't know. Again, it's, it's too late. And you wouldn't go long today and we're falling today. Um, so, missed this, didn't do it. Let's see if this holds. Did this, this is gonna go again, you know, faster is better. And I'm not gonna give it any more room. So let's just see here. Target is 31.50, 31. This does not have a massive target. Um, let's look at BA. Where's this going? It's going before Dow. Hmm. How many things do I really want to do though? It's just, here we go. Here we go, Dow. Let's get in a groove here with what's going on. Here we go. Once it breaks the low, let it fall, let it drop. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to look at today? Oh, Amazon Prime starts today. Again, didn't do anything with this. You know, saw this yesterday. I don't know. Would I have gone on this yesterday? Maybe. I don't know. Because I wasn't here. So it's like, so to say what I would have done, I don't know. But Amazon Prime is today. I don't see anything with that, really. Um, this here... Did have a move yesterday too. Again, I don't know if I would have done it or not. If I had done any of these things yesterday, I'm talking about his options. I would have got out of them. I can tell you that. Like I wouldn't have held them overnight. I just have zero conviction in holding anything long overnight. So that's pretty much where I'm at with it. Um, RCL is this. Something happening with this? Was this news or what's going on with these things? Did it gap? I didn't look at it at all this morning. I didn't see it. Oh, it did gap. Yeah, it did gap. Well, this went. I didn't see it this morning. Is, was there some kind of news on this? I wouldn't do this here, but it just dropped two bucks. Almost. Beautiful move. No, I didn't see that this morning. Devazi should have put that in the room in there earlier. But anyways, I like this. Just because it hasn't gone yet. Give it a second. Just give it one hot minute. Just let it break. Oh, it's issued more stock? That's having to move for something that is that reason. Here we go, down. Just got to be a baby patient. It's only 938. This isn't a tough area here. Hmm, this flipped. This was news, that I know. Uh, this, I think, again, I didn't I didn't see this this morning. I'm not sure if I would have done it, though, based on the reasons Dubad said, but it dropped here. I'm not going to do it here. This was the move. Haven't looked at CCL in a while either. Let's take that look at that one here. Oh, this went today, too, with that. All right, here we go. Try to let it break. 31.50 is the first target. 31 is the next one. And dream target in this for anything would really be 30, which, I don't know, this could do it. But I don't see myself being in that that long. Let's check out the market here. Oh, so this is, 
Again, so tricky. I mean, it's getting trickier and trickier and trickier and trickier because look how close we are to the highs. Um, and I'm not so sure I would have gone on the market yesterday. I really am not so sure. I was surprised, shocked actually. I thought cruise ships weren't going anyways. I mean, there's no cruise ships coming into New York, that's for sure. So it's for me, I, I thought they were all halted. I haven't seen a cruise ship all year since March, February. Uh, let me see if there's any econ. Stay with this. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do at all. Uh, what is today? Tuesday. Oh, you know what? Let's see how the banks acted, even though I wouldn't have touched them with a 10-foot pole. Uh, we do have, no, nothing out here during the day. Today's Tuesday. Everything's already out. Apple iPhone out today. Time of the day is 9.40. So I don't know if there was news on BA, but this had a drop so far that fell bigger than this. I don't know if there was news on this. Uh, this dropped and then flipped. And this is looking interesting. By the time I make up my mind, it's going to just go again. The problem with this is it's caught in a bad area. Let's do Boeing. Stop's going to be 165.55. And it's already going. One sixty five fifty five. You can do it right here. 35 by 55. Just do it. It's already hit. So just if you want to wait till it's see if it backs up in the 40 here. It just broke in the 20s. You just got to do it. It's already hit. So now we're in two airlines, which wasn't anticipated, and they're going to go together. They're going to go together. And the only reason I decided to do Boeing is because it's moving faster than this. And maybe this drops, and maybe 3150 is it for this. I don't know here now. It's so slow going. So this is having more traction. Could be a bigger move. Could be a bigger move. Could be a bigger play. Uh, this is acting like a snail, but it's fine. So you could do one, you could do both. So I gave this 165.55. If you're in it, you're in it. If you want to wait a little bit, if you just want to do one, that's fine. You could just be in the Dow. We got to break through 164 through the low here in Boeing. This is fine. It's just very snaily. So maybe we scalp out of this through a break through the low, hold BA down a little bit, and call it a day. Call it a day. All right, here we go. See, this is moving faster. I don't know why. Here, let me look it up. Actually, let me look it up. Let me look up what's going on with this. Besides the, the Dow that came out. We got to 163.86. Hmm. Boeing earnings are October 28th, so they are this month. Oh, again, the whole thing, well, the whole thing with the stimulus, which we knew, that was yesterday. EU to put $4 billion in tariffs on U.S. imports and Boeing. All right, so that's that. All right, so there was news on this. Earnings on this, it's working. So you just have to be a little bit patient, but it is snaily. Here we go. We're getting them both down. Whatever you want to do, 
I wouldn't be I wouldn't be a pig in anything today. Today's the first day of earnings season. Just get green. Just do some normal things. This market is sticky. It's really getting stickier and stickier. I tell you that. I mean, I I was like, huh, that's interesting. When I when I looked at the chart yesterday, I seriously, seriously, seriously couldn't believe we we're this close to the highs. And that doesn't mean we're gonna go up and over the highs. That doesn't mean it. That doesn't mean it at all. But I mean, it. I was shocked to be honest with you. And it doesn't mean we're not going back down to the March lows. And it doesn't mean any of those things. Because I didn't say we were doing that for sure this year either. I said, I think we're going to do it. But I don't know when. But I am surprised with the rally for absolutely really no reason yesterday. Other than the fact I think the market is anticipating Trump getting reelected. I mean, the market doesn't want to see taxes continue to go up. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to be looking to get some flushes into these things down from between now and 10 o'clock, and then we're going to call it a day. And that's it. And then we'll look and we'll check what's all out for the week. Oh, I wanted to look at the banks. Jackie, I think that's fake news. Fake news. Um, look, these are doing nothing. Nothing. And this was very crazy. Where did it go? I mean, this is still good. What did I initially say? 65? What did I say for the stop in this then? I didn't end up doing it. What did I say? Did anybody do that? Here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of fake news out there. There's so much fake news, there's almost no point in watching the news. <laughs> Quite frankly, what's the point of watching it if it's all fake? <laughs> it's almost like you could watch it and then realize that the opposite is the real news. Here we go. Dow through the low. Did you do it, Jackie? I said I said 60. Yeah, 60 or 65 went to hell, but it was right at that area. Here we go. Let's gonna get these down. One more, one more push. And then that is it. Here we go. Nice. All right. Here we go. One more push. One more push. One more push and everything. Here we go. 3150. Well, apparently I am awake, even though I still think I need some coffee here today. Yay. Everything is working. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hand to the button here for the Dow. Ow! Oh, out of the Dow. Out of the Dow. Let's look at this. It's probably going to go down in the 163. Mm. All right. Well, I missed a good exit in that down in there. Let's let's hold on to this a little bit more. I think that was a good exit on this, but it's still going here. Here. So you can get under uh, 3150. Gonna wait for one more push down in here in the Boeing. So you guys, looks like you guys had a good week last week with Gyro, Thursday and Friday. You did the DPZ, what did you do Friday? Anything? These banks are a mess. You went long the queues, which day? Friday? No, it's not like we're never gonna go long again. It's not like we're never gonna go long again. Friday. Yeah, this was a this was a setup, there was a setup here. I don't know what I would have done, but again, I was surprised by really yesterday. Yesterday was really, really surprised. Like you would have thought we had a vaccine or something. Um, all right, so trying to give us a little more time. You could have got out of this a minute, two minutes, three minutes ago. I think we had a good exit on the Dow. And if you're still in this, fine too. Fine too. We had good uh, setups in these. Now let's see what happens with this. So again... I 
And I have no different opinion than before so far in the market. I could change my mind. What would make me change my mind? I was asking myself that yesterday. I was asking myself that yesterday. What would make me change my opinion on this market? Like, what does it have to do that I would say all longs are on, all shorts are off? Like, what would I need to see? Well, I mean, Jackie, this is more follow through than we've seen. This is follow through. We saw follow through here. What do you mean? This is one, two, three, four. Four days rallying, that's follow through. That's follow through, I mean. You can't say that we didn't have it. You know, 